New Coke versus Old Coke. Not the pop you get in a can, but it's a new type of cocaine that is hooking teenagers across the country. Phil Dawson looks at the new high the drug world is getting. This is the type of cocaine that you see that they put in a line and then snort it. What you see here is the old Coke. New Coke has all the impurities filtered out, leaving behind little chunks or rocks cocaine dealers call crack. Presumably that's the name, where it got the name crack, because it has to be cracked to reduce it to a powder small enough to use it. Crack is sold in smaller, cheaper doses than regular cocaine. A single crystal goes for about $10. And instead of snorting it, crack users chop it up and smoke it to get instant results. You smoke it and bang, it's there right away. So you get high immediately, you don't wait. Users also apparently get addicted almost immediately after smoking crack just a few times. So that if they quit, they're gonna go through a withdrawal syndrome. This can uh, reach crisis point in uh, just three, four or five months. Unlike cocaine, which is abundantly available in Pittsburgh, there's very little crack to be found in the city so far. New York has a very fast increasing problem with this. Uh, Philadelphia. And before long, chances are crack will be plentiful in Pittsburgh as well. It's a new way to market an already popular product. It's business, big business, not million dollar but billion dollar business. Downtown, Phil Dawson, Channel 11 News.